Kicking off our first uh, morning session today, uh, we said yesterday New Zealand and terrestrialism had a very important common theme. Uh, New Zealand is a reputed to be one of the most cleanest and greenest countries in the world. And you guys would have personally experienced that when you came into the airport and you heard the beautiful voice that said, if you've got any fruits or vegetables or anything toxic, just chuck that in and you've got a 1500 dollar fine. We really mean it and that's what keeps our country very clean and green. So one of the main highlights uh, and uh, the slogans of this Congress is uh, the cleaning it's the Green Initiative, which is what we've uh, done as a local committee. So we've got two beautiful girls up here on stage kicking off our first uh, morning session. Sanaya Master and Roxanne Madora talking about the Green Initiative presentation in a little bit more detail and cover that through. So ladies and gentlemen, a loud round of applause for Sanaya Master. <laughs>
so a bunch of us young Zoros packed our boots and shovels and headed down to the breathtaking Kew Haven, which is about an hour away from the Auckland city. Kew Haven, brainchild of Thomas and Mark Stasek, is a novel restoration project with the idea of providing lungs to the city. A former derelict dairy farm, Kew Haven, is being restored into a native New Zealand forest with the help of volunteers from the community who have to date planted 128,000 trees. So as we make our way to Kew Haven after making several wrong turns, we finally find our way, thanks to us back up there, it's over there. <laughs> it's Telecom 4, we finally find our way there. Um, and then we are greeted <laughs> with a warm welcome. And a beautiful breakfast is laid out for us. And once we get a quick briefing about what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day, we transported, so we jumped into the back of the unit and then we're transported into these beautiful rolling hills where we're going to be doing the planting. Um, and then we spent half the day planting trees like flax, kanuka, laceberg, manuka, weinberg, and these plants will eventually establish a canopy which will provide shelter for a variety of plants and bird life to flourish. It was a morning filled with lots of fun and it was a bloody good workout as well. And in the end, can anyone guess how many trees about 10 Zoroastrians can plant in four hours? Any guesses? Not the organizing committee. Anyone else? 200, 200. We planted 522 trees. Oh, okay.